by Lucinda Landit, Part 14. Not everyone went downstairs to rec- rescue Alice, said Peter. Hey, you're right. Meg chewed her pencil. Come on, Meg, Peter, Alice interrupted them. Caroline, would you please turn off the computer and the lights? And Jerry, would you please mail these letters? Suddenly, Meg was reminded of something on the desk, and all the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. Wait, she called out. I think I know what happened to the Sherlock Holmes book. Mr. Plotnick looked at Meg. Who are you, Sherlock Holmes's great-granddaughter? Meg is a good detective, said Gramps. What have you deduced, Meg? Meg began to explain. The only way to find the Sherlock Holmes book was to read the last clue, the one behind the quiet please sign, which said exactly where it was hidden. That means someone deciphered quiet please in the code before I did. Only one person had a chance to do that. Who? Who? They all asked. Who did have the opportunity?